It's game time. Today, a dozen death-defying daredevils of Splatalot will go head-to-head -head with the defiant defenders as they strive to capture the highly coveted crown of Splatalot. Will these defenders be able to keep the castle safe from the attackers, preserve the kingdom of Splatalot, and be in victorious? Who will tumble? Who will tumble? Who will tear? And who will go? What? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Splatalot, the only medieval obstacle course that you can see from space and smell from the highway. I'm Jason Aguilar, alongside misguided Matt Chin, here to bring you today's splatastic action. That's right, Jay, I may have been late for work, but we won't have to work late to make our splat quota. But if we had to, I've got a thing. Of course you do. Let's take a look at the course. In round one, our 12 attackers must face the merciless moat. The quickest six then try to smuggle a flag and themselves out of the stockade in order to advance to the final round and a chance to capture the crown. Crown schmown, let's get to the splats. In time, young guy, in time. But first, here's a closer look at the moat. Attackers must pass the punch of plank. The rolling mace, the impossible incline, the beastly battle axe as Nick and Slack, the rope bridge of disaster, and the debilitating disc. Tough round. And they've got to do it all blindfolded. No, they don't. And where's the challenge? The defenders. Right. Harassing the attackers at every step will be three of the worst. Tinkor the Belcher, Crocknest the Swamp Dress, and the Pain Maiden Shaded. Prepare. Full battle. Prepare. For splash. The defenders have made their way out on the course. Croc on the water cannon, Kinks on the vaporizer, and Shaden's on air karate. Here's Haley. You took the wrong day to mess with a ninja. Is there a right day? I think Tuesdays are good. Shaden loads up a slimy surprise and misses. Because you ruined the surprise, Jay. Oh! And the power tumbler takes a power stumble and a power bumble. Haley's on to the incline. Hello, attacker. Allow me to apologize. I have a bit of a gas problem. No, Haley, no, what's rude is your disregard for gravity. In fact, I'm giving you a timeout. Time in. Shaden with a long distance splat. But Haley hangs in there on the battle axes. She calls herself the human pretzel, and I can see why. Whoa! Pretzel indeed, Jay. She gets twisted, salted, and toasted. Are you? Now, your biggest challenge facing Crocknet. That's right. Just ignore the rope bridge of disaster. And down she goes. Haley just needs to cross the debilitating disc. And oh! Let's see that again. Oh, Haley really hits the hay on that one. So Haley tumbles through at the time of 624. Up next is Michael. The prince is ready to become king. The prince needs to wait for his voice to drop. Hello, Michael. I hear you think you're worthy of being our king. What makes you think you're worthy? Yeah, Michael, show us how bad you want it. Oh, pretty bad. <laughs> I want it this much. Not enough. How about this much? Impressive. Prince Michael's moving on to the incline. Michael. Oh, Tink, come on. This splat proof shack isn't stink proof. <laughs> Michael now hopping right over the axes. He actually uses the axes to turn his time. Well, let's see if he's as good on the debilitating disc. Uh, no! <laughs> and just like that, Michael's through with an emotional 401. Up next, the slippery Anish. <laughs> we catch up to Anish on the impossible incline. Anish, smile. Smile is just slime rearranged. And here we see Anish's bones being rearranged. Black. And Anisha's back up, but looks a little tired. Had enough? Not yet! Whoa! How about now? Don't worry, Anisha. 901 means you'll probably be watching round two from the sidelines. Up next, or huh, down next, is Danielle. Who doesn't? 
Here's Danielle with the beastly battle axes. All right, Danielle, let's see if you've got what it takes. Does it take time? Uh, oh, she didn't add some motivation. But Danielle remains unmoved. This one seems to be taking her time, Shaden. That looks like she's making her move. She's up on the axe, but she makes a hasty retreat. What did she see that scared her so much? I don't know, a bear, a shark, snakes, or the thought of listening to Jay for another two rounds. Oh, there it is. And Danielle finishes up delivering a steaming hot 1023. I guess we get our blue pizza for free. Here's something else for free. Oh, it's Deanna. Gymnast Deanna wishes she could freeze time, but we're gonna speed it up to show you her entire routine on the uneven axes. There's a successful London Bridge and a hanging hamster into a full cup half-sitting Santa. And now for the dismount. So nasty. And Deanna's routine comes in at 6.15 with zero time added for artistic expression. Who dares pace the mace? It's Hannah. We pick up Hannah halfway through the course. No, kingdom! Ninjas don't get angry when I'm angry! Ah! Sorry, did you say you wanted more? Okay! Oh, Shaden tames Hannah with a paintball saddle. But she's making her way across the axis and makes it. I'm gonna finish what you guys couldn't. Does Croc mean the course? I think she means turning this stallion into a seahorse. <laughs> but Hannah's not done. This is bananas. I'm waiting. So is the debilitating disc. Oh! And the blue stallion goes right for the hay. Hey now. And Hannah ponies up a pretty decent time of 4.15. She sounds a little hoarse. So with our first six attackers through, Michael has the top time of 4.01, and Danielle has the time to beat at 10.23. When we return, our next group of attackers will try anything to get into the top six. Or just make it up the slippery slope right here on Splatalock. Welcome back to Splatalot. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Chin. And if you're ever offered blue pizza, don't take it. I don't care if it's free. I feel fine. You look like a smurf. Looking back at the leaderboard, these are the times to beat in order to earn a spot in round two. Michael should get through, but Danielle could be feeling blue. Croc's ready to rock. Tink's bringing the stink. And Shaden could use a minute. While she composes herself, let's meet Sarah. Get ready for some fever fails. Jaden, let's see that ninja accuracy. Yeah. Oh. Good shot, Jaden. I thought ninjas hated attention. True, Jay, but they hated Zachers more. Sarah could be getting into trouble on the roll base. You know what fevers do when they're in trouble? They slap their tails. Up and making some adjustments. Never a pop neck. Hello there. Whoa! <laughs> her heart said yes, but her legs screamed no. <laughs> but so long, Danielle, because Sarah's through with a 457. <laughs> Let's catch up with our next attacker, Calvin, on the slippery slope. Give us a pose, darling. Oh, he's in trouble now, Jay. And the rolling mace trips him up and brings him in. Don't struggle, son. Just come along quietly and no one gets splattered. Except you. Scoodles is free and back on course. So you think you're worthy of our crown, do you, Calvin? Oh, I don't need an answer. Fine, I'll just splat you down. Shaden misses, but so does Calvin. He makes a run for it, but ends up back in the clay. I mean, drink. And Running Man Calvin knocks out a niche with a time of 6.10. Roll out the reeking carpet. It's time to meet Corinne. Okay. We're not falling for that again. But it looks like Corinne's falling again. And again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try. Yeah, try again. I'll just give up already. Fool me one, shame on me. Fall about a hundred times, shame on you. 
down, down. <laughs> Corinne completes the course, but with a time of 10.29, she will not advance. What about our next attacker, Sophia? Oh, watch out! Twist is coming through! We pick up the twist, we're on the slippery slope. I see you. <laughs> I see you, Mr. Oh, it's Tinkor, not Mr. She must be thinking of his father, Terry Tinkor. You know, I don't see the resemblance. The twister's on the base. He gets blown away. Good one, Tink. He gets a sense of humor from his dad. Sophia gets her sense of balance from nowhere. The Twister tries to breeze through the course, but wound up getting winded. I don't know what she's so excited about. She just posted the worst time so far. See you in the next round. Not. Nah. Here's Steven. Party on! Party on, Matt. Party on, Jay. Welcome to the Battle Axis. What a considerate host. Oh! You know what they say, it's not a party till something gets broken. Like a leg, or a lamp, or a face. I hope Steven's okay. Oh, good, man. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Just the debilitating disc left to go. Good luck with that. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't mean it. I was being sarcastic. And with a 432, Steven parties on to the next round. Bouncing Haley. Mr. Ruff, Fluffy, the freak of nature! Here's Fluffy on the slippery slope. Brandon, freak of nature! Freak of nature? Look who's talking. While you're at it, look who's tanking. He was doing so well, but he should have stopped while he was ahead. Instead, he goes for the splat. Fluffy's back on the course and ready to tackle the incline. Brandon Roof! A solid start, but a rocky finish. You know, if he had stopped here, he would have been fun. But instead, he chose to kiss the Blarney Stone. All right. Oh, I bet to try harder then. Brandon, splash! <laughs> uh, is he hitchhiking? Sorry, pal, you've got to cross these axes yourself. Or not. And that's a splat. <laughs> But look at this, Fluffy rocks his way through with a 602, knocking out Kiana. Little weird, buddy. Yeah. With all 12 attackers through, we finally found our six competitors for round two. The advancing six are Michael, Anna, Steven, Sarah, Fluffy the Freak of Nature, and Calvin. So stick around for more foam, slime, and annihilation on Splatalot. Welcome back to Splatlot. I'm General Jason Agnew. And I'm Marshall Matt Chin. Oh, so you actually will rank me. But you'll always be ranker. Oh, thank you there, buddy. Twelve combatants charged the castle in round one, but only six have managed to break through to round two. And they've run right into an ambush. Facing that onslaught will be Michael, Anna, Steven, Squeaky, Brandon, and Calvin. Now that we've met the attackers, let's explain the round. I got this. Stockade! Hexabots! Rungs! Ladders! Flags! Ladders! Stockade! Not helpful at all. Attackers must balance on the hexapods and grab the rungs to build their ladders. The fastest four will then grab a flag from the center and carry it up their completed ladder to a spot in the final round. I liked mine a lot better. Just do the defenders. Rub-a-dub-dub and fur in a club, it's... Scott! Hurt in a skirt. Lisa! And queen of the mean... Nitrous! You want the crown! Now he don't stand a chance against us! Against us! With the attackers in place, let's take a moment to match names to helmets. That's Brandon with the pink stripe, Sarah in purple, Hannah with the orange stripe, Michael's in the blue, Steve's in orange, and Calvin is in green. Defenders! Stop it. And they're off! Michael gets an early frothing. And Sarah sticks an early landing. Michael's got his first strong, but Sarah's barely back. Belista just misses Steve with a goo grenade. Sarah and Hannah now with rungs. Steve can't decide. Maybe this will help. Oh, my. Oh, 
received it took too long and ended up paying the price. You're too fluffy. The competition's heating up down there as Steve returns with a rope. Hey, yo! Nitrous is on fire today! Good thing that's fire retardant foam. You don't even have any ladders! I think they're called rungs, Ballista, but you're still pretty. Whoa! It's out of clock! Oh, it's getting crowded down there. You must want this bag. I got a little present for you. It's called a slime. Just his size. Job rules! Ah! I'm annoying. I don't like it when people call me names. Yeah, Fomeo. Michael's on his last rung. Open wide. Oh! Pretty much good on you, little man. Felista starts with an appetizer and finishes Michael off with the main course. Yum. Michael gets his revenge by grabbing the first flag. Better step it up, Hannah. You too, Calvin. And Michael is up and through to the final round. I heard blue is your favorite color. Well, black and blue. Yeah. Hannah gets frosted like a cake. Jump! Jump already! Scat, no comfort. But Sarah helps herself to a flag, and Steve's got his last row. Oh, no, no. Sarah's climbing her ladder. Steve's stolen a flag. Brandon's still in it. And Sarah is through to the final round. Steve's still looking to join her. Oh, talk about your parting shots. But at least to nail Steve with a couple of goodbyes. But Steve is through. And one flag remains. Could it be Calvin's? Could it be Brandon's? Or could it be Hannah's? Nitrous votes for none of the above. Brandon's going for the final rung. Come on! I'm not just gonna give you the crown. Calvin's filthy with foam, and Brandon's slippy with suds, leaving Hannah free to grab the final flag. Can she make it across the barrel? Yes! I don't know if it's in your best interest to come up here. Don't do it, Hannah. Calvin and Brandon are still struggling, but Hannah has made it to the final round. Awkward. Smooth, Michael, real smooth. So the love fest is over just like that. Ooh, Ooh. and Brandon and Calvin are left with no date to the dance. Advancing to the capture the crown round are Michael, Sarah, Stephen, and Hannah. Coming up, the attackers will fall head over heels. Let's rattle up. Welcome back to the Capture the Crown round on Splatterlot. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Chin. We started today with 12 brave attackers, but we whittled it down to these four finalists. Michael, Sarah, Steven, and Hannah. And while the number of attackers goes down like an elevator, the number of defenders goes up like an escalator. That's right, the attackers will face all six defenders this round. That means Ballista, Tinkor, Scab, Crocknest, Nitrous, and Shady. You know, an elevator can go up, too. To capture the crown, attackers first pole drop to a mud bath, cross the slippy slides and terrible teeters, climb the barrier of all barriers, leap across the lily pads, then scale the water wall to capture the crown of Splatalot. Now the blindfolds? No! It's a new round, but the same colors. That's Steven in orange, Michael in blue, Hannah with the orange stripe, and Sarah in purple. Hope you can swim! Hope you can swim! Oh, Hope you can me swim. too. My little Tinko has the greatest smile. Okay. And here we go. The attackers hit the foam. Running. Michael is trashing the place. And the place is trashing Sarah. Those slippy slides are slippery. Who would have thought? Michael's first up to the teeter. Okay. Oh! Steven's going backwards. Sarah's in trouble. You know what that means? Beaver tails! Beaver tails! Hannah can't find traction. I can't do it! It gets harder! Does it ever? Oh! oh, oh. Michael with a spectacular splat hits a triple clutch. Back to the action. Come on, come on. Right in there. Hey! You're a lady. Yeah. 
Gabby's and Holy! Steven gets a back splat and slime. I love my job. He gets great benefits. Hannah could benefit from a pair of gloves. She totally looks lost out there. So does Steven. <laughs> oh, no, you do not. Um, yes, Shaden, actually you do. Steven's going down. <laughs> so is Sarah. Come on! <laughs> But Michael makes it up and gets two feet on the barrier and oh, oh. He also gets two cheats on the lily pad, Jay. Smack! Back to Sarah. Not so nice. Come on, we're waiting. The water wall's done waiting. It's fired up. And so is Michael. And Scab. Michael is a moving. Sarah needs to get two feet firmly planted on the... Okay, never mind. Steven takes a spell. I'm so sorry. And you tame wild stallions. Oh, well, I doubt she gets paintball shot at her while taming horses. It's a two-man race, Steven and Michael. Ah, how about your little clouding out? Michael's on the base of the wall. Uh, Steve, Michael's climbing the wall. Uh, Sarah, Steve... Michael's almost there! Can anything stop this prince from claiming his rightful throne? I'm gonna say no. And Michael has done it! Prince Michael is the new king of Splatalot! Whoa! An early assassination attempt! Heavy is the head that... sort of wears the crown. We know. So after an action-packed and surprisingly one-sided victory, Michael makes good on his promise to become the new king of Splatalot. I give him a day before Scab takes him out. I agree. Speaking of takeout, it's time to order up my favorite item on the menu, the Splat of the Day. There's so many choices, it was like a Splat buffet. But in the end, only one could be the Splat of the Day. Today's Splat of the Day is from the king himself. This Spinderella story came out of nowhere. We should really go back there. Let's take a look back there as we follow young Prince Michael's journey to the crown. The prince is ready to become king! He battled changes to his voice and to his body. He overcame adversity and found his confidence. He started shaving and meeting girls. He used his butt and his gut. And the regal squirrel got his nuts. And they all lived happily ever after in the kingdom of Splatalot. Or did they? Till next time on Splatalot, I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm... Sleepy. The prince has become the king! Beaver Tail!